Each year, Orange Grove celebrates one of the board members who has contributed to the great work of Orange Grove. The Outstanding Board Member of the Year Award is given to the volunteer who has tirelessly supported the services, programs, and mission of Orange Grove. Previous award winners include Tom Caldwell, John Germ, Jim Goldman, Chuck Comer, Susan Ross, Tom Cox, Dan LeGraff, Scott Short, Morton Kent, Bart Burns, and Max Bonner. This year, the Distinguished Board Member of the Year Award is given to Sharon Matthews. Congratulations, Sharon, on a job well done. Sharon is a long-standing supporter of Orange Grove, and without her leadership and guidance, Orange Grove would not be the successful organization that it is today. So who is this woman who has done so much for Orange Grove? Sharon has been an incredible source of support and guidance over the years to Orange Grove. She has served on the Board of Directors since 1988. During that time, she has served on the Medical and Dental Committee and on the Residential Committee. She is currently serving as the Chair of the Residential Committee. Sharon Matthews was born on May 1, 1953 in Waco, Texas. She was a very active, friendly, and outgoing child. Her father was a colonel in the Air Force, which gave Sharon an opportunity to meet a lot of new people and explore new places. Sharon graduated from C.E. Donnert Stillwater High School. She enrolled at Baylor University in 1970. She married young and had three children, Jamie, Robbie, and Mandy. Sharon's second child, Robbie, was born with cerebral palsy. The diagnosis was daunting, but Sharon faced a difficult journey head on. Sharon looked tragedy in the face with a determined smile. She knew that she would do everything she could to provide for her child. She researched resources in the community and found Orange Grove Center. Robbie started Orange Grove Center when he was six years old. Sharon became very involved at Orange Grove, not only to be an advocate for Robbie, but also to help other individuals get services. Sharon became an active member of the PTO where she served as vice president and president for many years. At Orange Grove Center, Sharon met a group of women that have become lifelong friends. They have shared births, deaths, and marriages of their children together. Their bond has made them become more like sisters than friends. Sharon desires to help and educate other people about services available to the special needs population. This is evident in her career at Tennessee's Early Intervention System, teaching STEP workshops, and her continued involvement with Orange Grove Center. One of Sharon's passions is to empower people. She loves to teach others how to advocate for themselves and their loved ones. My friendship with Sharon Matthews began about 35 years ago when Robbie and Chad attended the Signal Center together. Three years after that, Robbie and Chad moved to Orange Grove. There we formed a very close bond with three or four other mothers and uh, we all worked side by side to do things for Orange Grove. We um, shared our lives and uh, we shared our struggles. Uh, we have shared ups, downs, highs, lows, life, and yes, even death. We have shared almost anything anyone could imagine. Uh, Sharon has always been the one to bring humor back to any situation. She is totally loyal to her son Robbie. That is unquestioned and her dedication to Orange Grove is proof of that. Uh, she always speaks up for the underdog. You know that population that um, kind of gets shoved under the rug. Uh, she's more like a sister to me and together we have acquired many nicknames just ask Kyle Hout, um, Sisters of Mercy, Mothers from Hell, <laughs> and we both proudly claim them. <laughs> so congratulations, Sister Sharon. You, your honor of Orange Grove 
Board Member of the Year is well deserved. Over 30 years ago, our daughter went to Orange Grove for the first time. And shortly after that, there was a parents meeting where I met a, a wonderful bunch of ladies. One of those persons was Sharon Matthews. Uh, we've become fast friends over the years. We've lived through the deaths of our children and our parents. We've uh, gone through the marriages of our children. And of course, she has grandchildren. And through all of that, we found the best respite is great friendship. And I'm so happy that I've been friends with Sharon and she's a friend with me. Uh, humor is one of the best things that we, we have together. And we enjoy going on trips and uh, talking about our children. And, and Orange Grove has always been a big part of that. Hey Sharon, I understand congratulations are in order. Uh, you, it's a most deserved honor uh, for you to join our club and be uh, named board uh, member of the year. Uh, you know, you and I and our families go back a long way. Uh, I remember back in the 80s when uh, we all went to uh, signal centers together, Robbie and Jordan. Uh, Karen was reminding me of those days and uh, the fun we had and uh, not knowing exactly what was going to go on in the future. Um, Along with that, I remember when I asked you to uh, serve as uh, chairman of the residential committee, and you didn't hesitate that much, but uh, of course you picked up on it. You've done a wonderful job, and uh, along with the representation on the residential committee and your uh, representation on the board, uh, we couldn't have asked for anything more. You've done a wonderful job. I'm sure Mandy's very proud, your daughter's very proud of you, and Nigel, your son-in-law, I'm sure they're proud of the of what you've done and accomplished, and Robbie uh, and Jordan are both proud of you as well. You know, thank you. I appreciate you helping out the board as well as you do. Hey, Sharon, congratulations on the honor of being the board member of the year. Uh, I'm sitting here looking at Hal and, and with uh, Dan and with Susan, and they're laughing at me, and I don't know what I'm going to say, <laughs> but I just want you to know that I consider you a real friend. You've uh, always been around uh, Orange Grove and done the things you've asked to do. You've never refused to do anything. Back in the days that Dan was talking about, uh, I remember you and Sherry Campbell used to go to Nashville. And one time I heard the people in Nashville say, oh no, there's those two ladies again. But uh, you, you, you got your point across and you helped us get the things we needed, especially in the ICFMR programs. And uh, we really appreciate all you've done. And I just want you to know that uh, Orange Grove is better because of the work you did. We work as a team and everybody's job is important. And uh, we, we really benefited uh, what, what you've done over the years. And uh, thank you very much. And I'm just going to say, may God richly bless you for all the things you've done for the people who served at Orange Grove and the staff and the families here. We love you. Thank, congratulations. Hey Sharon, congratulations on being the board member of the year. This is something that you truly deserve. You've been a great board member serving for so many years and such a fun person to be in a board meeting with also. But what I really admire about you is your dedication, not just to the needs of your own child, but to the needs of everyone's child here at Orange Grove and everyone served by Orange Grove. I know you're the type of person that they all depend on to help them get what they need. And so you're truly deserving of the honor that you're getting here. Congratulations, Sharon. Our mom, Sharon Matthews, is the epitome of love. She is selfless, caring, would do anything for us, and basically has. We love her, and we <coughs> think that you deserve this more than anything in the world. Thank you for being you, Mom. We love you. Congratulations, Sharon. You are Orange Grove Center's Board Member of the Year.